Hey YouTube, it's Rarity Ho, and I'm back again with another toy opening. This is a Republic Elite Forces set with Clone Troopers. There is an additional set uh, of Republic Elite Forces that comes with an uh, with Omega Squad, and uh, both are both are pretty cool. They're uh, both completely different sets, have different sets of Mandalorians in it and different troopers in there, and. Uh, they both have their own perks. This one comes with Dread Priest, Isabet Rue, and Mish Gilamar. Um, I picked this up at the Great Escape for uh, $80, which is pretty good because it goes for $160. So I got it for about half price. Uh, you know, Great Escape always coming through for me. Uh, there'll be a link in the description if you want to check them out. Uh, it's a great store. I love going there whenever I have money. <laughs> when I don't have money, it's because I spent it there. Uh, but also, I picked up a Jabba's Rancor uh, at the same time as I got this set. Uh, I got a great deal on that as well. Uh, there'll be a link in the description if you would like to see the video of that uh, opening. Um, it's super, super wicked. Uh, probably one of my most favorite fa uh, favorite pieces of my Star Wars collection now. Uh, just because it has such such good detail in it. Uh, and, uh, you know, anything that has you know that much detail and, and care into a figure is, is what's going to make it. So moving on to our first figure here, we have Dread Priest. He comes with a rifle and he comes with a pistol. Uh, both have kind of a silverish tint to them. Um, and his pistol actually fits into a holster that is on his left leg. And uh, it's done very well. It stays in there. Sometimes you have some holsters that don't really actually hold the pistol that it's supposed to come with. He has a removable, uh, just basic Mandalorian uh, jetpack. Um, other than the fact that it's, you know, fit to his colors. Uh, his helmet is also removable uh, with his own custom face, which is interesting. Uh, all the Mandalorians in this set um, have their own face, and um, you know they are their own person, which is nice. They're very poseable. He has a, a ball pivot in his uh, shoulder and elbow, and his uh, wrist rotate ball pivots also in his ankle and his knee. Uh, his legs move nicely, other than the fact that his utility belt kind of gets in the way, especially on his left leg. But that's nothing too big of a deal. Um, his waist rotates as well. This is, um, in general, just a very, a very good quality uh, figure. I I really enjoy the little special details, such as like the little ammo across his chest, and again, like I said, the holster. Um, anything that has like little special features that make them their own character, um, just help tell a story, and it's very nice to see that. Um, and and this is this is the main character that I why I bought this set anyway. And next we have Midge Gilamar. He is a tan and gray uh, Mandalorian. He comes with a standard clone rifle. Uh, however, his arms are not very poseable. He uh, just rotates his arms at the at his elbows, and he has no ball pivots at all in his arms. Uh, he comes with a you know removable jetpack and helmet. Again, with his own unique face, which that part is neat. Uh, his knee or his legs are fine. His knees move. His uh, ankles move. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that, uh, and his waist as well. Just the fact that his arms are so stiff is a little disappointing. Uh, this is the only figure in the set that is uh, done poorly, in my opinion. Um, as you can see here, he can't even hold his rifle how you would expect like just you know just a basic clone trooper to be able to hold his rifle but other than that that's my only complaints um, you could use some pistols or something and still display him quite nicely and our third Mandalorian here is Isabet Rue the female Mandalorian of this set she comes with two uh, special pistols and a removable helmet uh, both of her pistols have a very silver tint to them which is unique uh, she has her own, um, just again, standard Mandalorian jetpack. Um, well, mostly standard. She has some room for a ponytail back there. But her uh, her arms are fully articulate. Her um, ball pivot in her shoulder, elbow, and her, her wrist turn. Again, ball pivot in the uh, knees and, um, and the ankles. And she moves at the waist. Because of her skirt thing, she can't move her legs uh, back, really because it is a it is hard material um, but it's, it's very tough and, and uh, durable as well though but uh, it's nice to see a female Mandalorian first of all and you know not something out of the cookie cutter uh, this is um, her you know uh, her own toy and it's uh, interesting to see she has her own set of armor and although similar you know is made just for her which is neat 
Up next we have two ARC Troopers, and these are actually exact uh, duplicates of any other ARC Trooper if you uh, have ever had any of those. Um, you can see his rifle, he has a very large hand and all the ARC Troopers have this problem. They never want to hold their rifle, uh, but they have the standard Clone Trooper uh, face um, and, you know, of course, removable helmets, which is, which is nice. Um, and, you know, they're fully articulate, they're, all their, um, joints move, uh, but their turning point is not in their, their forearm, but their wrist, however. Uh, again, the hard skirt thing, uh, does kind of get in the way of some of the posability. Uh, he comes with, um, the little device on his wrist for communication or whatever, but, um, Again, you know, they they are nice figures, but if you have had a different kind of art trooper before, you will be fully aware of all the problems that they have. Mainly just with their hands. They don't like to hold weapons. But other than that, they are very nice figures. And finally here we have uh, two clone troopers with Mandalorian symbols uh, on their chest. And they are very standard uh, Episode 3 clone trooper figures. They come with uh, an antenna that uh, attaches to their back fully posable in every way uh, really the only difference between this and a episode 3 clone trooper is the fact that it has the Mandalorian symbol on his chest and they have a small uh, little symbol on their forehead uh, but uh, you know this is still a great toy because first of all it just looks amazing it looks really really good and the episode 3 clone troopers are very very posable you can do all sorts of things with them so it's very nice overall I am very pleased with this set um, like I said, the quality and the detail is there, uh, with exception to Mish Gilamar, uh, and his just and his arms are a little stiff, uh, and he lacks certain things that make him his own unique character. Other than that, I highly suggest this set. As always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Rarity Ho. Peace out.